Hey, what up guys? In this one, we're going to my home course, the one that I play the most, which is San Jose Muni. Hard to get tee times these days, but that being said, this is what a typical round looks like for me right now. And you can probably see where I can improve my game. That being said, let's have the course and see how I did. All right, hole number one here. Uh, hit my drive up the left-hand side. Hit it pretty decent for the first drive of the day. Um, unfortunately, this tree kind of comes into play in my second shot, so I thought I'd just take an iron here and lay up. And yeah, I clipped the tree ever so slightly, but end up getting through. And then here's my third shot into the green. So end up getting on the green and regulation. I have a great look at birdie here. So here is the birdie attempt. And yeah, I just didn't give it enough break. And I'm just, just tapping in for a par on the first. All right, next up is a dogleg right hole. I should have clubbed down here. As you can see, I got a little bit too much of my mini driver and I run through the fairway and now I'm tucked behind these trees. So I just punch out here, just play the score and play and not try to do anything heroic. And it sets me up for this next shot into the green. Unfortunately, I flare this one out right. Ends up going into the sand trap short here. And so I have a tough little uh, bunker shot to get out. One foot in, one foot out. Uh, luckily hit a pretty decent out of the sand trap and then I have this long one just to save my bogey and this one ends up rolling in so arm lock gang where you at uh, lucky to save a bogey there from that far out all right this next hole is what I would call a typical muni hole just very straight with maybe one element in the fairway to deal with which is a bunker that I go over uh, I hit this ball way too hard and it goes over the green. Luckily, I'm just in between the sand traps that you can see uh, by the pin marker locator. And then this is where I make kind of a big mistake here. I try to get too cute, chip it way too short, and then I have to chip it again onto the green. So uh, try to get cute once more. Should have probably just took a bump and run club. And now I have this testy one just for bogey. End up missing that one. So I got a double and, you know, three over through three. All right, this par three, I always have difficulty hitting the green for some reason. It's one of those deceptive holes that you should be able to get on every time, but with wind and just how I play, not always the case. So I try to be aggressive here and try to make it, and I pull it to the left, and now I'm left with a long chip for my par. Probably should have just went for the par, you know, safe play, but got greedy with my chip onto the green. So I got another bogey. So this hole can get into the minds of people who aren't confident with their drives left or right. You got a sand trap on the right, you got cars and the OB on the left hand side. I piped this one down the middle and hit it really far and unfortunately leave my second shot short and it rolls uh, to the front of the green with that false front. So yeah, here's my uh, putt attempt for birdie and yeah, not a really good look. I end up blasting this one by. Uh, camera doesn't do the second putt justice but end up missing that one as well so three putt bogey and uh yeah not not the greatest start all right this hole is similar to hole number two dog leg right if you cheat more to the right you're rewarded with a shorter approach into the green uh, i hit this one pretty good and so i'm left with just a wedge and i just played it safe and aimed for the middle and got it on green and regulation so here is my putt and it was a pretty decent putt it was uh, sloping pretty severely left to right and yeah, I left myself with just, you know, like a three footer tap in for par. So back on track. All right, coming up next is another par three. Uh, just take out my nine iron here because there's always wind that plays into your favor. And yeah, I end up just, you know, hitting this one short and to the left. And so I have this chip to get on to try to get up and down. Uh, the chip attempt was just okay. Rolled it a little too far. And so I have this long one uh, just to save my par. And yeah, don't convert there. So after one par, go back to the bogey train. All right, so hole eight is probably the hardest par four on the front nine. It just plays really long and sometimes there's wind. And if you hit it too far left, there's OB. That being said, uh, I was okay off the tee with this one, but end up flaring this one out to the right. And so I have a tough chip to deal with on this green. Uh, here's the chip attempt. Ends up being pretty decent here. And so I have a short look at a par putt here. Uh, and this is the look that I have. Here's the putt. And yeah, I end up missing that one. So bogey again. So similar to the first hole, this is a straightaway par five. It's not very long. So I hit a really good drive over the right hand trap. And so I just have, you know, not too long into the green. So I take out my one length three hybrid and up flaring out ever so slightly to the right hand side. but. I have this chip and look how close this one gets. 
Yeah, ends up being really close. Check this out. And I get a birdie. Let's go. All right, coming off a birdie, feeling pretty good. Starting the back nine here. Take a mini driver and hit it really good. Almost as far as like an actual driver with the wind uh, behind me. Uh, this next shot, unfortunately, I just don't get all of it. And I end up being a little bit short. And here's part of my game where I probably need to work on. It's just, you know, integrating an actual bump and run. I take out my 56 and I blade it way past the hole. And so I have almost just as long putt as I did my chip prior. And yeah, I end up missing my par putt. What should have been an easy par turns into a bogey here. All right, first par five on the back nine. Uh, unfortunately, this one, I pull it ever so slightly to the left. I end up being in this fairway bunker. Not very good with those long bunker shots. Fortunately, this just goes through the tree and ends up, you know, in the fairway. And so I have a decent length shot into the green for my third shot. And with the wind and, you know, hitting it a little further than anticipated, I have this super long putt just for my birdie. So actually not a terrible attempt on this first putt. And yeah, I end up just uh, tapping that winner for par. All right, coming up is a par three. Pretty straightforward with only things to contend with on the left hand side. Uh, just aimed for the middle of the green. End up being a little bit short, but I'm on regulation. I have a really long putt for my birdie. Takes a few hops there. And yeah, I'm just pretty far short on this attempt. So here is the par attempt. Yeah, unfortunately, end up just three putting this hole. So not on with the putting today, that's for sure. So this hole, you just don't want to be missing it right because there is the pit of despair that we're all familiar with. Uh, just hit this one down the center of the fairway. Hit it really good with wind behind. Uh, this one end up hitting just okay, but should be a lot closer from this distance than I am on this screen. So as you can see, pretty far away. I ended up flaring this one right from my approach, but the putt ends up being pretty decent. So I have this really short one for my par. And yeah, as you can see, don't convert there. So another three putt and back to back three putts really stink. So at this point in the round, you can probably get a good feel of where I'm lacking in my game. Uh, it's mostly like short game decisions. Off the tee, I'm pretty decent and my approaches are, are just okay. But yeah, when I get into that 50 yards or 20 yards or around the green area, that's where you see most of my mistakes. So I hit a good drive, hit a good approach here. And yeah, here's the putt and don't even read it that well. So ends up, you know, not even going to the area that I thought it was going to be, but I end up tapping for par. But yeah, definitely you can start identifying where I need to improve. So here's my nemesis hole. If you've seen a lot of my other videos, you know I struggle off the tee here, and this is no exception. I hit the ball into this hazard, and as you can see, that's my target line. I lost the footage, but I end up hitting it onto the green here, and so I'm putting for my par. Very long par attempt, don't really get that close and so here's the bogey attempt and yeah just burn that one by so I end up just tapping that in for double but pretty disappointing that I can't get over this hole so at this point of the round kind of over the score and decide to swing pretty hard on this drive end up hitting it 300 yards with wind behind so that felt pretty good just had a short little chip so I took out my nine iron kind of a bump and run play I landed just short of the green to let it roll on and so I have this look for my birdie and yeah, just things weren't rolling in my favor. This one barely misses, so I end up just tapping in for par. But hey, at least I hit a 300-yard drive. That was pretty cool. All right, coming up next is the last par 3 on the course. I end up hitting a pretty good shot. It felt really good, but it ends up being just a tad short. So I have a really long birdie attempt coming up. So here's the birdie attempt, and if you listen closely... I end up hitting the flag stick. So if things would have rolled my way, maybe I could have gone birdie birdie, but end up taking the par here. All right, last hole of the day. You know I'm swinging hard. Hit it pretty solid actually, but only goes like 247 yards because of the wind. Uh, next shot, I take out my four utility. I just advance it down the fairway. End up pulling it ever so slightly to the left, and now I'm in this left-hand side rough. And unfortunately, this chip. I end up just chunking it, do a little funny club toss, you know, for comedic relief. But yeah, not happy with that result. So I'm just thinking all I want to do is get up and down. So here is my wedge. And this is kind of where I need to get a bump around in my repertoire. Even though this ends up working out uh, and I'm tapping in for par, I need to work on the up and down. All right, as you can see, pretty typical round for me. Has it has its ups, has its downs. Probably a lot of like course management things that I could work on as well. Some you know, swing execution things. But yeah, this is my home course. I really enjoy playing San Jose Muni when I can get a tee time. If you see me out there, come say hi.
So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Keep chasing and I'll see you in the next one.